Jerry Lester and Milton DeLug and the orchestra. Milton played the accordion. Ran along was the tap dancer. Dagmar was the sex bombshell, who uh, I guess she could pass for a singer, I don't know. Uh, and Jerry Lester, funny, Broadway open house. And that one really got my attention, because that was mixed, planned and unplanned, slapstick and verbal. And um, that was just, you know, for me, that was, that fed me. I, I never missed Broadway open house. And what was the um, genesis of being a good thing to do? It sounds like it almost was an area where the top of all the food in the world. Yeah, I, I, needed, I needed that outlet. I mean, I, I needed to do that. And with my mother, when I graduated from eighth grade, I didn't go very far in school. I quit high school in ninth grade. So, but I didn't know that in eighth grade. But like an out of grammar school. Nice, good Catholics. Very good friends of Catholics. No uniform. The girls together. Everything was discussed. I had a teacher in the environment. So I came from a wonderful school. And when I graduated, my mother said, "Well, I owe you a graduation present. But think it over during the summer, what you'd like." And I said, "In the fall, I went down to the Christian Brothers. The discipline was down to the same part." I have a brother who said, uh, if anybody wants a camera, class, anybody wants a camera, I have a budget and this job I get to get a camera for a discount. It's a real awesome brother Connie had. And one of the things he mentioned was tape recorders. And I went, oh. And tape recorders then were not sold in the store. stores. They were as big as a few. And they were sold upstairs in the And there were buyers and so forth. I went to one and I found this camera uh, this week. This was a well. And I got my mother to buy the other tape recorder. And I started making tapes at home. And I'd make believe I was an interviewer. I'd make believe I was a newscaster. I'd put a record on the phone and I'd hold the microphone over. I'd play the dragon. Dun, 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 dun. I'd take the mic back, let the music continue. And I'd say, it was Friday. I was working the robbery detail. No, it was great. And I did, this was something, now I'm, I'm at this time 13 and 14. And I had this to take record all from 13, 14, 15, and so on. And the kids knew. And I would do, I would do a little playlist of, about the neighborhood. I would do, I would make fun of the authority figures, the shopkeepers, the parents, the priests, the policemen, all the people who were in charge. And I would do the little kids. And it, 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 I had, my brother's crowd, which was old than I, used to tell him, bring Georgie to the party. And tell him, bring his tape recorder. Green Georgie, and these kids, these kids are all into making out and stuff and drinking and everything else. I wasn't. They'd come to the tape recorder and I'd play these things for them. So I was getting fed the whole time I grew up. I was getting reinforced. You can do this, this is good, you know, fun, you know, this works. So. I mean, clearly you were a natural. And uh, I have an interesting story you told about Right. Well, it, it, it became a plan. It became a, a blueprint, an outline, anyway. Um, at that time, fifth grade, 11 years old, the autobiography, the last page, what do you want to be? said, actor, comedian, announcer, in person, announcer, disc jockey, in person. See, I didn't know what.